Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Today, I wanted to go over some tips on how you can join Twist. Now, in today's video, these tips can be used for any of the roles, really, but this these are going to be more towards the content creators. So, just if you're not going for content creator, then take these tips and kind of mix them how, however it would fit your role. But these are just, like, what seem like basic ideas, but... I've, like, I don't see a lot of people doing it, so this is going to help you guys a lot because I watch a lot of the content creators and the recruitment on the Discord, and some of them are great, and when the ones that I think are good, I do send to Turtles, the team lead, and from there, just whatever, like, whether they, you know, they got to wait, wait some time to get to it, or maybe they're looking for a little bit higher of a standard, I'm not 100% sure, but I just want to give you guys more tips to raise your chances of getting into Twist, so here we go. Wait, one other thing I wanted to say. So there are six tips here. And then at the end of the six tips, there's going to be like some miscellaneous. So there's going to be six steps, I should say. Six steps. And then at the end, there's going to be some miscellaneous tips. And this is not the official recruitment challenge. The official recruitment challenge is on the Twist Clan YouTube channel, which this is actually step one. So step one is to follow Twist Clan on every social media. I know that seems super basic, but I mean every social media. So if you go to the description of my video right now, there's the link tree for twist clan and when you click that it'll bring you to all of twist clan social media so there's the youtube channel instagram twitter tiktok everything they have like the merch stores all that you want to go and get check out every one of those websites follow like comment everything you want your name to be established with twist clan as much as you can and you want to know every single time that twist clan does a post on anything you want to be the first one to know so like on youtube don't just subscribe hit the notification bell get get yourself well versed with twist clan step two another pretty obvious one if you're watching this video your property you probably already completed step one and step two step two is to join the discord the twist discord that's also going to be in the link tree uh that i mentioned in the last step so the discord is where there's the community which has the journal tab where everyone is chats but then the discord also has if you scroll down it has the, all the recruitment uh, channels where you can actually link your recruitment videos so you obviously want to join the discord because that's where you establish your recruitment videos but also that's where you get to make friends with other community members but also make friends with the other twiz members step three this is mostly for within the discord but also you want to do this on all your socials like your twitter instagram and everything make it very very clear that you are actually trying to join twiz don't just make it clear that you're a fan of twiz because obviously you know if you're following the account then i mean you're you know you're a fan of twist right if you're following it but you want to make it clear that you're actually going for twist like you're actually wanting to be a part of twist so make it very clear in your bio on your twitter account on your instagram within discord make it very clear that you are trying to be in twist and make it very clear what role you're going for okay you can go for multiple roles at once make it very clear which one you're going for make it clear that you're trying to be a content creator or you're trying to be a streamer or you're trying to be one of the game pro like valorant pros fortnite pro call of duty pro the call of duty sniper any of those make it very 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 clear step four this is specifically for the content creators i guess this kind of works for the streamers as well uh so you want to have a very clear schedule so for streaming it's a little bit hard for me specifically so this is why i'm just a content creator i'm not actually streaming for twist although i do stream on youtube and i have been doing that lately i don't do that all the time and at any moment i could just go back to just only focusing on youtube videos but for right now i have the time to stream so i'm going to continue doing it because i love it however let's go back to the content creators the videos youtube videos make it very clear what your schedule is so for me if you cannot tell monday through friday i post every monday through friday i do not miss i don't remember the last time i missed a monday through friday upload and then the streams are kind of sporadic but like once again i'm not actually a streamer for twiz i'm just a content creator so you want to make it you want to make your schedule really clear so if you do youtube even if you're only doing one video a week that is fine obviously the more you do the better that's and that doesn't just go for twist too like the more you do the better is just for youtube in general like the more content you can put the more chances you have of your video you know being spread around but whatever your schedule is stick to that schedule and don't miss so if you're scared that you can't do two videos a week then only do one but if you're gonna do one video a week don't miss it if you're committed to doing two videos a week don't miss if you're committed to doing three videos a week don't miss obviously occasionally you know you're gonna be sick or whatever 
obviously you're gonna miss on those that doesn't matter and the, the overall grand scheme of things pick a schedule that you can commit to choose the days and if you want to get really like specific this is what i do my videos always go up at 6 p.m eastern standard time so that's how specific my schedule gets monday through friday at 6 p.m eastern standard time so you want to establish a schedule like that for yourself because that helps you stay motivated and that helps other people who are subscribing to your channel to know when they can expect more content from you and not forget about you step five is make the highest quality you can so i believe the minimum requirement is 720p 60 frames per second i'm not sure if 720p 30 frames per second is acceptable i'm pretty sure it has to be at least 60 frames per second but if you can shoot for 1080p 60 then do that okay if you can only do 1080p 30 or you can only do 720p 60 that's all right but shoot for the highest quality you can and another like major thing is if you if your video like your gameplay let's say your gameplay is 720p but your webcam is like 360p that like doesn't look good you know what i'm saying so equipment obviously can be very expensive and i'm not saying to go broke getting really good equipment okay because you can go like on amazon and you can find starter packs that are definitely reasonably priced for like the logitech c920 which will record at 1080p 30 frames per second and just like a blue snowball i mean those are very basic equipment but they are significantly better than a lot of other things now obviously you know the more money you put into it obviously the higher the quality will be and then also that the webcam that logitech c920 i was just telling you about that's another big thing don't get if you're gonna do the logitech c920 with 30 frames per second then you're gonna have to mess around with your video because you can't have your game be 10 1080p 60 frames per second and your webcam only being 30 frames per second i mean you can but sometimes it might look bad just just do a couple test recordings that's a that's a big thing this is kind of like uh an extra tip here i'm gonna add in do like when you make youtube videos do a bunch of test recordings before you actually start recording the videos to make sure it looks right because if you can make it look right that's all that matters it doesn't matter how you did it as long as the final product looks good it doesn't matter how you got there just get there also a step five like i was saying with the c920 getting a webcam is i don't believe is 100 percent required but i'm telling you it's gonna boost your chances uh, to join twiz and just on youtube in general and like if you're streaming getting a webcam is going to help you so much whenever you so let me tell like whenever you're watching twitch or you're watching youtube and it's just the video like the just the game if it's like a montage or whatever then obviously that's different but i'm talking about if you're just doing like a playthrough or anything like that having the webcam adds that personality which is what we're looking for in content creators you don't want just your game because if you're good enough that will i mean that you know that's good but having the webcam is just going to boost your probability of like just your viewers having that attachment to you because they're just they want to get to know you that's why people watch your youtube because they want to get to know you so definitely i would say strongly suggest getting a webcam and the logitech c920 is the best like budget webcam that will i mean I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, XQC, one of the, I think the top like Twitch streamer right now, he uses a Logitech C920 as his webcam. Okay, it's a good webcam to use. The final step, step six, before we get into just the basic tips, step six is to support every single Twiz member you can. Follow them, subscribe, like, comment, reply, everything. Because what that's going to do is, for one, it's going to show that you're loyal to Twiz. That's what Twiz wants you to, that's what they want from you. That's what we want from you, I should say. Uh, but I, I, when I say they, I'm looking, I was more talking about the higher ups who actually do the recruiting. They want to see that you are loyal to Twiz. And to do that, you have, you have to have your name everywhere. Because if you like, and you comment on every video, every tweet, every Instagram post, you know, what that's going to do, it's going to make it. So every member is going to start seeing your name. And that is the big, that's the easiest way to get in is if every member, if every Twiz member can see your name and know who you are. If I can go to someone and say your name and they know who you are too, that's going to raise your chances significantly. So if you subscribe to everyone, follow everyone, tweet at them or reply to their tweets, like their tweets, Instagram posts, TikToks, whatever, whatever they do, just be very, very active, especially like, and this goes in the discord too. be very active in the discord too, because if everyone knows your name, then it's going to be way easier for you to get recruited because you're it's like easier to trust you if we know you if there's one person who one twiz member might know but none of the other twiz members even know about you then the higher ups aren't gonna they might not they may not feel comfortable recruiting you because they don't know who you are okay so now we're just gonna get into some basic tips so tip number one i would say is your your edits are up to you 
they can be like very simple edits or really advanced edits from like on my youtube channel they're basically like all simple there's nothing too crazy about it but it's up to you it's your channel at the end of the day make it personal to you and that leads right into the second tip which is explore if you aren't enjoying what you're doing then change it up get what you want make the videos you want and have fun doing it if you want just simple edits then just do simple edits if you're not comfortable with that and you want to have a a nice well edited video with a lot of time and effort into it do that too just whatever you do if they don't and that's another thing like if you do one video that is crazy edit and one video that's simple edit that's fine as long as it's what you want to put out because that's what you want to see is what you want to do edgar right now is being so annoying he's probably making the camera shake and then my final tip and this is gonna be uh contrary to a lot of what a lot of other people say i hate 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 when people say don't do youtube for the money okay because obviously if you're just into youtube for money and you don't actually care about it well then that's just like any other job you can just go work at your local grocery store but why i think that's so lame is because everyone who does youtube obviously they do it because they like it but you also want it to be your job so treat it as your job saying don't do it for the money is the lamest thing i've ever heard do youtube for the money and what i mean by that is treat it as a job which goes back to my other steps which were create your schedule and don't be late don't be late to work don't call off work don't be late on a video and don't call off on a video treat it as your job if you want it to be your job if you want to go full-time one day then that's what you have to do that's what i do right now every monday through friday at 6 p.m eastern standard time i make a video because i don't want to call off on my this is like a job right now it's not a job obviously it's not my full-time job but i want it to be my job so in order for it to be my job i need to treat it as if it's my job so that way if one day it happens and i can go full-time i need to be ready for that opportunity if you treat this as if it's just nothing and you can do it whenever you want and you don't want to make a video today then if you have that opportunity you're going to miss it so if you start treating it like a job now then when that opportunity comes you're going to be able to seize that opportunity way easier another great tip that'll help you stay organized get one of these and get a planner okay i write down in my planner every video when it needs to be uploaded and when it needs to be recorded by and the best day to record it get a planner it'll help you out a ton that is going to do it for today's video on tips to help you get into twiz if you guys follow these i feel like you're gonna have a much easier time obviously not everyone's gonna get in that wants to get in but twiz is always looking for new people in every role there's no like there's no cap on it not that i can think of anyway there's you know there's no reason to have a cap we want the best of the best though and in order to prove yourself to be best of the best i think that those six tips that i gave you in today's video are gonna help you tremendously if you think so if you have actually uh, let me take that back if you have any additional tips that you think could make it into a video like this leave it down in the comment section below share it with the other community members let's do this as a team okay you're not in this by yourself if you want to get recruited you can also find a buddy and do it together grind together you don't have to do this by yourself and if you want to find a twiz member to help you out start getting in contact get on the discord get your name out there and i'll see you guys around goodbye